Hey everyone, welcome back to another custom model showcase by yours truly. Now you're probably wondering, what is the custom spotlight this time? And before you ask, no, it's not going to be on Trackmaster Kyle yet. It's going to be on something else. And I think you can already see by the background. Because that's right, ladies and gentlemen. The background is today's custom spotlight. This is one of my newest props that I'm going to be adding to my series soon. Probably in season two. My custom Tidmus sheds inside. Now, I actually wanted to make this when I was little. Well, I actually wanted to make this like a few weeks back before all of this came in. So I decided so I decided that the last thing I would do before school starts would be to make a background for my series and the episodes yet to come. So that's what I did. And here it is. Now let's move the camera out of the way and see it all the way outside. Here we go. Stanley out of the way. But yeah, as you can see by the entire cardboard, this is made out of cardboard from a giant box that we got for our dog's new doghouse. Took a lot of time, but at least I got it. So what I did first was I chopped off some of the box fold stuff, it's like it's called. And when that was done, I did it myself. As you can see, I painted the windows and then copied them on the printer. I had to make 10 of these and there was a print error so I had to do like uh, 9 of these. Fortunately my therapist printed the last one and it ends out well. The window frames and windowsill were painted with acrylic apple bear paint which was red for the red barn for the window sill and Kelly Green for the window for the frames. I know the cardboard I know the printables for the cardboard isn't really the same color as the cardboard itself, but it's the least I can do. For the backs to hold together, I just glued up the cardboard which I folded together and then glued together using tacky glue, which I have right here. As you can see next to me, there's stuff being holding up. There's stuff next to it because I needed to dry it together, so I put that stuff together to help dry it. And here we have the entire t inside of Tidmouth Sheds all done. I'm actually pretty happy of how this came out. This surprise prop will make a lot of videos easier. Like if I want to make the inside of Tim and Sheds, I'll make it with this. And before you ask, no, it's not going to be used for stations or anything else. It's just going to be for this Tim and Sheds. Unless you count Terry's shed, then I'll make another shed. Somehow. But yeah, I think that's it for the sheds. So thank you all for watching this custom model showcase on my display for the inside of Tidmouth Sheds. This will be coming out in like uh, season two of my series when I get the chance to film it. And I think the first appearance of this thing will be in season two, episode one, where James returns after getting his new voice. And before anybody asks, no, it's not going to be used for the crossover. This will be used during Season 3 and Season 2. In fact, every season that's going to come into the future. So that's it. So thank you all for watching and see you soon.